Welcome to another Stack State tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to adjust and configure Stack State's monitors to meet your specific observability needs. Stack State comes equipped with a wide range of out of the box monitors for observability. However, you might find that not all monitors are relevant to your needs, or you may want to adjust these monitors for different thresholds. How can you do this? One method is to simply disable any monitor that you find less useful. For example, if you don't need to monitor the daemon set desired replicas, you can disable this monitor. Once disabled, you will see that stack state marks this monitor as disabled. If you navigate to the highlight page for a daemon set in one of your clusters, you will notice that the daemon set available replicas monitor status is no longer reported for this daemon set. Returning to the monitors overview screen, the second method for tuning monitors in stack state is to edit them. What you can then do is set either a common threshold or choose a distinct status for the specific monitor you wish to adjust. For instance, let's take the node disk pressure monitor. When you edit this monitor, you're taken to the monitor editing screen. Here, you can change the name of the monitor. Because this monitor is provided by Stack State, it cannot be overwritten directly. You need to provide a new name. Stack State will then clone this monitor for you. Let's name it node disk pressure critical monitor. You can then modify the condition so the monitor triggers a critical state instead of a deviating one. After saving these changes as a new monitor, Stack State will update the monitor and you can disable the original version. Now you'll have a single monitor that reports a critical state. The new monitor is listed as critical with a custom source, differentiating it from the default Stack State provided monitor. The third method for tuning monitors in Stack State is to adjust a monitor's threshold for a specific component unlike the second method, which applies universally across all components. Let's take the example of the Locust service, a load generator. It's marked as critical due to frequently exceeding the standard three-second response time threshold. This threshold is ideal for services with external visibility, ensuring swift responses. However, Locust, being an internal load testing tool, naturally has longer response times under heavy load, which shouldn't be flagged as critical. For a specialized service like Locust, it can be appropriate to have a higher threshold. Therefore, we can customize this by setting a distinct component-specific threshold. This tailored approach ensures that the Locust service's natural operating characteristics are taken into account without triggering unnecessary critical alerts. As you can observe, the latency is approximately between 20 to 21 seconds. Therefore, our goal is to adjust the monitor settings to prevent it from turning red for this particular component. First, we'll navigate to K9S to edit the Locust service. Our next step involves annotating this service to assign a custom threshold. We'll add the monitor's identifier, monitor.kubernetesversion2.stackstate.io. Then, we'll incorporate a JSON block. Within this block, we'll define the thresholds, setting the deviating threshold at 30 seconds and separately establishing the critical threshold also at 30 seconds. After saving these changes and exiting, StackState should quickly detect this new configuration. If everything is configured correctly, we should soon see the monitor turn green. As you can see, the monitor turned green and now indicates that the HTTP response time is above 30 seconds. In the configuration, we can observe that StackState has recognized the annotation. This demonstrates how you can fine-tune a monitor for a specific component. For instance, if we examine a different service in StackState, like the catalog service, you'll notice it still adheres to the standard three-second latency threshold. In conclusion, there are multiple ways to tune and configure monitors in stack state. You can either disable them entirely, change the global default threshold or output value, or adjust settings on a per-component basis by annotating a service or a pod in Kubernetes. These changes can also be integrated into your CI pipeline, enabling code-based configuration. Thank you for watching.